Um, hi, I'm Holly, Holly Danvers. I was told you could help me. She walked through the door and looked at me with those eyes, those big, sad eyes that said, help me. You're talking out loud. You do know that, right? So was I when I said, help me? Always did love a dame with a mouth on her. That's it, I'm leaving. And that's when she walked out on me, never to see her lover boy again. How did you know I was looking for my boyfriend? This morning I picked up a missing person poster written in blue marker. The stains on your hand match the color of the writing. The man in the photograph was about the same age as you and he was wearing the same necklace that you are now. Boyfriend? Missing? What's the story, sister? The dame told me that her name was Holly, and that a boyfriend, a part-time bartender and full-time actor by the name of Cole, had been missing for two days. So I decided to see the mayor of the local bum town for help. Why does he do that? I don't know. Pete, I want you to tell the others to keep an eye out for this mug. His name's Cole Phillips. You see him, you call me. He has a phone? I lives in a phone booth! They still have those? <sighs> Don't you worry, Square Jaw. We just got a new brother to help us look. Brother? The bums have unionized. It's a long story. And you think these bums can help us find Cole? They're spread all over town, and you'd be surprised by how organized they are. So what now? We hit up your man's usual joints. The Dame and I scoped out Cole's workhouse. Seems a man's slave driver didn't like Cole. Said he was a lousy barman. Didn't make any tips. Said that if Cole ever showed up again, he shouldn't bother coming back to work. Cole's acting agent hadn't seen him recently either. Also told us Cole hadn't gotten a serious gig yet. So I told him we meant business. With no leads and no word from the bum network, I was starting to think this was just another case of runaway boyfriend. Until the dame piped up. My name is Holly. And Cole wouldn't just abandon me. Seeing as how he had no real job and no ties to this place other than you, I don't see Shut why- Shut up! No, Cole wouldn't just run off like this. He was... We... He was going to propose. Are you sure? Yes. I overheard him talking about it with my dad on the phone the other day. Would you have said yes? Absolutely. I think I know where we can find him. Pete, when did you say that new guy joined the illustrious ranks of the Hobo Brotherhood? Where is he? Cole! <gasps> Holly, you weren't supposed to see me like this. Why aren't you dressed up like a homeless man? I'll feel that one. Lover boy here was gonna pop the question. But with no work coming in, he couldn't score enough dough to get a decent ring. That's when you realized you could make more as a good bum than you could as a bum actor. I was sitting outside of my work a couple of days ago, and a guy dropped a five in my coffee. Then you bought your way into the hobo union with some booze you liberated from your old job and used your acting experience to make yourself up as a bum. I noticed Pete was drinking a decent whiskey today. Didn't count in their initiation ritual though, did you, kid? Initiation ritual? Please don't ask. You're lucky we got to your man before they got a chance to finish the ritual. Well, I'd better be getting back to the office. Wait, what do I owe you for all this? For finding Cole? Don't do this for the money, sister. Do it for the love. 